Here are 4 tips and tricks for DaVinci Resolve you should know. In DaVinci I use a lot of effects, animated titles and plugins, but because of this sometimes during my export it just crashes and this is really annoying. But I have a simple solution for this. So there are two things you should do. Number one, in the playback menu you can set the timeline resolution to a half or a quarter. This will make the editing a lot smoother. But really important you have to make sure you set it back to full before you start rendering. Number two, go to preferences, then media storage, go to users and then stop renders when the frame or clip cannot be processed. Make sure it's unchecked and this is gonna make sure it doesn't crash anymore. So you want to make shorts and reels from your long form content? Here's a really easy way to save some time. Smart reframing. Go to smart reframe and hit reframe. And now Resolve will automatically keep the subject in the center of the frame. Instead of keyframing it by hand, Resolve is gonna automatically keep the subject in the center of the frame. We all know you have to be organized when you are color grading or editing a project, but sometimes it can become a bit messy. So here's a tool to help you. The part where it gets messy most of the time is, is the media pool. It would be great if you click on something in the timeline that it would also highlight in the media pool. That is possible, but you have to enable it. Go to DaVinci Resolve Preferences, User, then Editing, and then Enable Always Highlight Current Clips in Media Pool. And now when you click on a clip in the timeline, you can see it in the media pool. And this is definitely gonna save you time when your project is a mess, but try to stay organized. Sometimes when I'm working on a project in DaVinci Resolve, I need to open an older project, but I don't want to switch between new and old, so I use dynamic switching. Just go to the project library, right click and then turn on dynamic project switching. And now when you open multiple projects, you can just switch between the two projects, here in the drop down menu. 